Hello everyone. Today we are going to show you how to uh, install Quantum Espresso. The installation of Quantum Espresso is uh, is quite painful, and uh, it it can have so many problems. And uh, I mean, it it may be the most difficult thing that you do uh, with Quantum Espresso. I mean, do do the calculations itself is not so difficult, but uh, the compilation and the installation is uh, difficult. So today I'm going to show show you how to uh, how to compile Quantum Espresso. So basically, uh, you need you need a compiler because Quantum Espresso is um, is written using Fortran and C++. So so you need to have uh, compilers. To compile uh, com compare this source codes, yeah. So basically, you have two choices. The first choice is uh, GNU compiler. Another choice would be Intel compiler. Yeah. Uh, the GNU compiler is open source, and you can get it anywhere. Uh, yeah, it's free, of course. Um, the Inter Intel compiler is not open source. But it is free for students and uh, open source development developers. Huh? So you, if you register, you can get it free. And uh, and also you can choose to compile it uh, serial or parallel computation, which means that if you if you uh, compile it serial, you can only run Quantum Espresso on one CPU core, so you know that uh, modern computers have usually more than one cores, perhaps two cores, four cores, eight cores, or even uh, like twelve cores in a big cluster. So, um, so if you want to do parallel computation, you need to you uh, you need to use uh, you need to compile quantum special parallelly, yeah. But still, you have the choice of uh, Quantum Espresso uh, uh, compilation of, uh, using GNU compiler or Intel compiler. So, so there are like four. There are these four uh, choices. Usually, the Intel compiler has uh, has much higher efficiency. So, so this would be. Uh, Commanded, yeah. So parallel and Intel compiler. So today we are going to compile Quantum Espresso using Intel compiler and, and uh, Intel MPI, which is the parallel interface uh, written by Intel. Another important uh, factor is that uh, is the uh, mathematical library, uh, and uh, we are going to use Intel MKL. Yeah, so all these these things are included in Intel Parallel Studio, which is free for students. So the first thing to do is to download in Intel Parallel Studio. You can just uh, just type in, in Intel compiler, and down here it's uh, it's written Intel Parallel Studio from uh, the official website. Choose and download, and uh, you can you can choose students, for example, Linux, and. Uh, you can see that here is download free software. Just need to provide your uh, student uh, student email, and uh, it will give you a serial, and uh, you can download. Included a uh, C plus plus compiler. This is what we need. Uh, Fortran compiler. Yes. Uh, this is MKL, which is the mathematics uh, library that is important for the performance. Uh, what is still uh, uh, important is MPI library, which uh, controls the parallel computing. Yeah, and 
and uh, you can see that I have already downloaded it. Here, Parallel Studio XE, and you can use uh, tar command to uh, to unzip the unzip the compressed file. Uh, I will not do this because I have already do, uh, did it. It's a uh, Parallel Studio XE edition. Uh, let's go uh, go into this uh, folder and uh, you can choose to install using install GUI. That is uh, the installation with user interface. That's most. Um, that is most convenient, and uh, just just follow follow this uh, uh, f follow these steps. Uh, I will hit cancel because I already did it, and then the Parallel Studio is uh, automatically installed on your computer. Yeah, normally it will be uh, it will be in opt in root. Uh, in root directory, opt, uh, intel, and uh, compilers and libraries, Linux, there are compilers like uh, uh, Fortran compiler, C++, C++ compiler, MKL, that is the math library, and MPI. So everything is inside this folder, just to know it. Yeah? And uh, one thing to notice that if you would like to use the compilers. Usually, you need to uh, run these three commands. Yeah. So the first command is um, is to set the environment for uh, for Intel compilers. Second command is to set the com uh, set the environment of MKL math uh, library, and the three um, and the third. Uh, command is to set the environment for the MPI, that is the parallel computing. Okay, so now you can test whether uh, it, is, it is in the, um, it, whether it is ready to be called. You can which effort, yeah, so you can, it means that uh, the software can successfully locate uh, effort. For example, uh, ICC, yeah. And uh, if you are interested in the version, I port minus V, yeah, this is the version. So good, we have uh, successfully installed Intel Parallel Studio. So now we are going to um, install Intel, uh, uh, in install Quantum Espresso. First uh, is to is to download uh, Quantum Espresso from the official website, which is already introduced uh, in the introduction. So download uh, download page Quantum QE six point one and save file. Yeah. I also already did that here. QE six point uh QE six point one dot r to dg uh, dot gz and use this command this tar command to uh, unzip it and there will be a new folder that's called QE six point one. We go into this folder. This is the main program of Quantum Espresso. But now it is already uh, source code. Huh? We need to compile it. Of course, before comp uh, before configuration, we would like to uh, tell the program where to find uh, find our compilers, our uh, uh, math libraries, right? So we need to source source this. We uh, I already did that, so I would not do it again. And, and then 
we use this command to uh, to to let the let quantum espresso automatically find the configurations the environment of of your computer right so uh, yeah it's it is rather quick you see that it it finds uh, some uh, some of the math libraries right it already uh, it also finds uh, let's say where is it okay it it also finds uh, Intel compiler for Fortran i Fort uh, but it sets to G Fortran which is GNU compiler. So if you if you just just go from from now to make for example make PW make the uh, program called PW, it will actually fail. Okay. So if you hit configure, you can see that uh, it it finds some of the MF libraries. It all it also finds MPI F F ninety. It no notices that there is a uh, there's I Fort, which is Intel com compiler, but it uh, still sets uh, set the Fortran compiler to G Fortran, which is GNU compiler. So what we are going to do is that we uh, go to QE six point one and uh, modify the make dot in, which is the make file. Yeah. I already already had uh, one reference uh, make file that that is uh, let's say that is suitable for my system. So we would like to see what's the difference. Yeah. So we, I would like to add this to to it here. Uh, so basically, it means that. Uh, we would like to uh, enable the um, scalar pack uh, library in in the MKL. We would like to use the um, a Fourier uh, discrete Fourier transform library in MKL, not the uh, not the one in quantum espresso that would uh, that would uh, hire. Okay, that will higher the efficiency. Mm -hmm. And this is the important part. Huh? So MPI F F ninety, we are going to set to MPI I Fort. F ninety I Fort. CC MPI ICC F7 is uh, MPI I4. So we set everything to Intel compiler. So this is very important. You cannot mix GNU compiler with Intel compiler, otherwise, it will fail. And uh, CPP. 
QICC. And it is very important to add this. So this is um, this flag uh, actually it depends on your platform on your CPU. Huh? So you can all, uh, always find the best uh, pro processor specific flag that you can use for your CPU. Uh, you can find it on the on, on the website. If you have uh, any uh, question, please uh, comment and I, and I will answer it. Hmm? And this to, is to in, enable the math library of uh, of Intel. And of course, we would like to add this line to here. Huh? So again include a uh, math library uh, processor specific um, optimization and, and this line is very important it uh, tells the uh, it tells the software where to find the Fourier transform package in MKL yeah? otherwise um, otherwise the program will fail because it tries to include the Fourier transform but it cannot find it okay uh, I'm not sure I would just uh, I mean this line is not important I would just uh, copy it here And also, also this line here, I will just uh, uh, delete. Okay. And uh, this flag, I'm going to add at, as well. Um, okay. Here, go to MPII for it. This LD flex I will just uh, delete it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think this is uh, not important, so I want to just leave it out. And here comes uh, another important part, which is uh, this BLAS library. Just to do this, huh? and then the LePack library. Copy it again. Mm -hmm. And third important library is Scale LePack library, huh? and you can go here. Yeah, and uh, the third important library is uh, FFT library. Okay, and uh, of course the parallel computing library we add here. Okay, so now we are done. We are done with this step and we go to the terminal just make uh, you can you can choose make PW that is to make the uh, main program PW.x or you can make all I would suggest that at first you make PW because make takes some time huh? uh, and this is the this this uh, program that we are going to use uh, in the near future, right? 
and it starts uh, the, the, the make process. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, just just to so so you may have some questions, like how do you know that we and uh, that we need to add these different options uh, on the on the Intel uh, Intel MKL? This is uh, for this you can. Uh, you can go to the uh, you can go to the website like Intel uh, MKL Link Advisor. Yeah, this is very this is very useful. You can go to it. For example, we are using MKL two thousand and eighteen. So you can see, oh, okay, it's still working. Select uh, operating system. Usage model known because we are using a normal CPU compiler, for example, Intel Fortran architecture, Intel 64, that is the 64 uh, CPU. And uh, usually we would like to use a static linking for better performance, uh, interface layer. Yeah, like I don't know, like like sixty four threading. We can choose sequential or TPB. Usually, don't 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 choose uh, open MPM. And uh, for example, scalar pack MPI is uh, Intel MPI. And you can see that uh, this is the this is actually the link line. Huh? It's very similar to here. Yeah. So you need to include uh, this uh, th this folder and to include uh, L M K L core. To include uh, blocks uh, into uh, I uh, ah yeah maybe I use a thirty two bit yeah this is better uh, blocks into LP sixty four LP thread right uh, yeah so you can you can choose depending on your system depending on your computer. And uh, to uh, and go here, like uh, and make some little changes. For example, uh, just uh, just a minus L to the folder, and add add this uh, libraries uh, in this format. Yeah, and so you can refer to this. Let's see. Ah, it it is still baking. So, and another question would uh would be would, uh, maybe how do you decide which which professor specific specific uh optimization you use. Example, you ch oh, no, it's not here. Uh, lab. Optimizations flex. Yeah, so this web page is uh, also very useful because it tells you uh, the Fortran compiler options. That is the uh, flex. All these flex can be found here. 
you can you can find what is the meaning of O3, what is the meaning of AX, AVX, yeah, and you can also find a list on the um, on the on the internet. Uh, what is the best uh, processor specific optimization for each CPU family of Intel? So you can also find it there. Yeah. So we come back to our uh, make process. You can see that it's still doing the job. I mean, making. Making quantum espresso um, is quite a uh, is quite a painful process, perhaps uh, because it takes takes some time until you find the solution for your computer. On on the big clusters uh, or high performance computer, is it is much uh, much more easier than than your personal computer because usually. Uh, you can uh, usually it is config uh, it, it is well configured, and uh, you can. Okay, let me. It is well configured, and you can use module avail to uh, to find the modules and use module load. To load the modules, and then the environment is automatically set, huh? which means that you you have Intel uh, compiler automatically on the, on the cluster, and you just load it, and then what you can do is to, is to just uh, configure it and make it. Yeah, it would be. Uh, much easier than your uh, than your own computer, but we would like to do it on, on our computer. So, yeah. So we will wait for the end of this uh, make. Way. Uh, there are many different uh, different ways to uh, to include this uh, math libraries, and it will actually uh, influence your your performance. For example, you can uh, you can use your. For example, I compile compile the. Uh, quantum espresso using different different uh, flex here. So for example, okay, for example, we see it here. <laughs> this is another reference. Can see that the uh, the flags are different. There's no LTBB, and and uh, it's no LMKL sequential. Uh, I would actually recommend this version. This uh, from Blast Leaps to Lepak Leaps. To scale the pack leaves, FFT leaves, and MPI leaves. Yeah, I mean this is uh, this is much. Uh, this may be may be better, but but the performance, uh, I would say, is the same. So basically, what what this version does is that it uh, can automatically dispatch uh, CPU. Uh, 
CPU cal calculating force. Uh, but but here it is only sequential. We can learn learn in the future uh, in the future that uh, we will dispatch CPUs uh, explicitly ourselves. So so this will uh, lower the how to say this will lower the possibility of conflicts. Yeah. So we still wait for the end of the make. So please be be patient uh, when the uh, when when quantum is ready do it work and uh, compile everything. Okay, seems seems to be at the end. It is cleaning. Clean the files and uh, linking uh, the libraries, etc. Okay, so now it's uh, successfully done. We uh, in the last tutorial we uh, we have introduced that the pro uh, the actual program uh, would be in the spin folder. So we go go into the spin folder. Okay, and we can see that, yeah, here is the pw dot, dot x. So, so we have uh, successfully installed uh, Quantum is Parcel using Intel compiler, and uh, yeah, using Intel compiler and uh, Intel MKL and Intel MPI. Uh, and in in the next t tutorial, we uh, I, I will I will go to going to uh, I will show you how to use this uh, program. So basically, it's like uh, pw dot x uh, some file dot in that is the input file to some file dot out that is output file. If you would like to run in parallel on different um, CPU cores, we, uh, we would like to use MPI run. For example, this is in this for four cores. If you have eight cores, you can do it like this. If you have, if you have like twenty four cores, you can use it like this. Okay, so. Um, so thank you for watching and see you next time.